Number one, the Bible says that adults should teach children. But number two, the Bible also says that children have a lot to teach adults. Isn't it interesting? These religious leaders are arguing and what Jesus says is you need to be learning. These kids know some things that you forgot. And it's not that we don't learn these things, it's sometimes when we become adults and we become religious, we become too serious and we forget the simplicity of what it means to just have a childlike faith. That's my next point. God wants us to have not a childish faith, but a childlike faith. That's what he's saying. A childish faith is immature. A childlike faith is innocent, it's trusting. Right, how many of you have seen a kid and if you tell them something, they, they tend to believe you. So you gotta be careful what you tell your kid. So when Jesus says, you're gonna raise from the dead, a childlike faith says, awesome. Right? Ultimately, Jesus wants us to come to him with a childlike faith. And so what I ultimately wanna tell you is this, if you wanna learn how to pray, don't look to religious people. The worst place to look how to pray is religious people. Here, the negative example were the religious leaders and the positive example were the children. That ultimately, if you wanna learn how to pray, don't look to religious people or leaders, look to children who have a parent, but I would say in particular, a father who adores and cherishes them. If a dad is a really good dad and really loves their kid and they got a healthy relationship, just watch that relationship. Okay. For those of you who are dads, if you're a good dad, do you have to teach your children how to make requests? And if you've sat down saying, so, you know, if you ever need anything, here's how you do it. They just sort of pick that up on their own, amen? Hey dad, I need ice cream and a pony and a bottle rocket. <laughs> Pronto, stat. <laughs> okay. Why? You'll see, they just, they let you know. How many of you, if you're doing something very important, your kid doesn't care. They feel they're more important. They just butt right in. Have you raised that kid? It's like, hey, I'm in the middle of something. Like, I'm your kid. We have the same last name. I have your DNA. I always cut to the front of the line. I don't care. What happens if a child is loved? They just assume that they're a priority. They just run to make their requests known and they feel just free to talk and true or false, if the child is loved, sometimes the communication could be a bit emotional. They might cry, they might be scared. They're gonna, be very, they're gonna run to their dad. Here's where I'm at, here's what I need, here's what I feel. And ultimately the healthiest way to learn about prayer is to look at a healthy relationship between a father and a child. And this is where the whole sermon series is gonna go because God is a father and you're his child.